If you want to learn how to make a subscribe overlay button like this one, then continue watching. First, I'll show you how to increase the cursor size that we'll use for the subscribe button video. So you go to system preferences, go to accessibility, go to display, cursor, and this is where you can adjust the size of your cursor. So we're going to use the largest size for the video and then go to your PowerPoint. And here's a blank page uh, in PowerPoint and we're going to change the background to green. So format background, change the background to green, and then we'll create the button. So you go to insert, go to rounded rectangle, create the rectangle to create the subscribe button. So and we'll change the color to red and adjust the text, move it over to the right, and then we'll add the other rounded rectangle to make the play button. So draw the rounded rectangle, and then we'll change the background color to white. And we'll add a triangle, and we'll make the triangle look like a play button. Change the background, rotate it. Um, actually, we'll make the background red and then place it in the center of the white rectangle and now it looks like a play button so just adjust it until it looks good to you okay copy the first slide make a second slide and then change the background to green okay we're going to change the button we're going to give it a gray color so it's like when the the uh, viewer clicks on the button it changes the button color make it a gray color and we'll change the text to subscribe uh, delete the play button and we'll add a check mark then we'll move the check mark in place it's right there so it looks like the user just clicked the subscribe button and now it says subscribed and then switch it to presentation view. And then you just record yourself clicking the button. So it looks like you clicked the subscribe button. So I'm editing the video in iMovie. Use whatever software you have. Um, so right now I'm going to crop the video. So that way it only shows when the cursor goes into view and when the cursor comes out of view. Okay, about right there. So I, I'm going to split the clip right there and then just delete part of the, the video that I don't need. So it looks good. And then I wanna delete this those buttons. Those are just buttons in PowerPoint. I don't want it to be in the video. So I'm going to crop those out. So I'll use crop fill and to only show what I want to show. And next I'm going to add the sound. So all it is, it's just a mouse click sound effect that I downloaded online. I'll put a link in the description. So I just, I'm just positioning it in the right spot. And then I test it and it sounds good. Okay. And then going to save the file and then give it a name. So I'm taking a game clip and then adding the subscribe button just anywhere you like. And then make sure you change it to green screen. So it takes away the, the green background. And then we try it out. And there you go. That's how you add a subscribe button to your video. Another way you can use the subscribe button is in Streamlabs. So all you need to do is add that short subscribe video and you add it as an overlay and it makes videos a lot faster and you don't have to like use iMovie to like edit in the subscribe button. What I'll do is go to sources, hit the plus button, go to media source, add source, and then add a new source. I'll call it subscribe button, add source, 
browse for the file and then select it click done and what you want to do is right click on it and filters and then filter type change it to chroma key click done and then there's a little eye button that you click to make it visible so I'll make it visible and then it just shows up so you can use it any time like in the video I can just keep clicking it so that way I can call it up if I want to mention about the subscribe button like I, if I say um, if you're new to my channel please click the subscribe button and then I can call it anytime it makes video editing a lot faster so I have other buttons that I created um, I can make other videos um, on how to do these so I have a click like so I kind of write a note in in Streamlabs like if you found this video helpful please click the like button so it kind of reminds me what I would say at that moment um, you can say whatever you want um, so so if I click that then I get the click like overlay um, I also have leave a comment like let me know what you liked or didn't like about the video so I can show that and call that up anytime I also have another subscribe button that I created um, it's what I normally use it has the little bell icon on the right side and then I also have another one and I say like click the bell icon to receive notifications for new videos so I'll get that to show thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful are you ready for the buttons here they are so if you found this video helpful please click the like button leave a comment let me know what you liked what you didn't like about the video and if you're new to my channel please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications for future videos like this one and see you in the next video